Once upon a time, 500 years ago, maybe a little less or maybe a little more, there were certainly no Mozart Kugel so soft and round and famous everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. But there were already politicians and conspiracies against strict politicians as well. And even in the ancient city of Salzburg, where Archbishop Leonhard von Koycek used to keep a tight ship, and in the taverns and hostelries and farmyards of the city, the people were griping, complaining, carping, moaning and banging on the table so heavily that the glasses and the cutlery clattered and rattled. But griping, complaining, carping, moaning and banging on the tables didn't help much against the Archbishop's strictness, and so the most intrepid of the angry citizens forged a secret plan to dispossess the strict Archbishop. However, the Archbishop very soon heard about the griping, complaining and moaning, and of course he found out about the conspiracy. As one day the conspirators were griping, complaining and banging on the tables so heavily again that the glasses clattered and they were about to forge their plan, they received an invitation to join a banquet at the Archbishop's court. So the citizens stopped the complaining, carping, moaning and banging on the tables and fearlessly went to the fortress. As soon as they entered the banquet hall, the angry citizens were surrounded by soldiers and were instantly brought to the darkest of the dungeons in the fortress. Suddenly, the bold conspirators feared for their lives and no complaining, carping or moaning would have saved them. Nevertheless, the strict archbishop revealed himself to be merciful and was disposed to restore the obedient citizens to freedom if they accepted the archbishop's authority. Anyway, the bishop ordered the building of marble lion heads on the houses of the conspirators as a symbol of their obedience. From that day on, nobody wanted to conspire anymore and only sometimes the complaining, carping, moaning and banging on the table was heard very quietly.